Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape Project Apple. Today we'll be creating an apple. Um, the primary purpose of this project is to sort of work with the gradients, work with shapes, um, and work with paths and nodes. So if you don't have a blank document, you'll go ahead and go to File, New, or Control N. It'll open up a new document for you. You can press 5 to bring the page full screen. We'll go ahead and get rid of these. Next, I'll select the circle tool. I'll go ahead and hold the control key, left click and drag out at a 45 degree angle. If you want to change the color of your apple, which I suggest you do, turn it to a red, or the standard red here. We'll go ahead and go Paths, Object to Path. We'll come over here to the ruler. We'll learn to left click on the ruler, hold it down, and drag out a guide. Select your object. You should turn on Snap to Center of Bounding Box. So this will help you make sure you've got this set because we want this. Um, we want this guideline right in the center of the circle. Next, we're going to get the rectangle tool. You can put it right here on top and it'll put a guide right on that handle. As you notice that the pop-up is showing. Go ahead and drag that a bigger than half of that half of the circle. You can change it to any color just to differentiate the two. Next, go to your selection tool or press S. Now, you're going to select the rectangle, hold the shift key, select the circle. Both items are now selected. We're going to go to path and we're going to go to difference. Now we've basically deleted half of the circle. Now you can drag the guide out of the way. You can now select the node tool Notice that we only have three nodes at this point. We're going to need a few more. So I'll select the line right here, or the path between these two nodes. I'll click right here, and I'll hit the plus arrow. Now it created a new node. I'll do the same for the bottom. I'll select that line. I'll hit the plus, and it created a new node. Now go ahead and click off so you're deselecting those. And now you're just going to form the apple out of this side. We'll start by taking this node, clicking, left clicking, holding, and start dragging it up a little bit. We'll come to this node, we'll left click it, hold it, and drag it down a little bit. And keep going until you get a nice little bevel right there. I'll go ahead and hit 3 to sort of zoom into what we're doing. This node, we'll go ahead and left click hold and we'll sort of bring it up and over to get a little more roundness to this apple. If you feel you need to, you can always click on a node and grab one of these handles and move it around. If you want to sort of adjust that curve a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and press 5. Press S for the selection tool and deselect it. And just sort of give it a look. If you don't like one of the nodes, because it just helps to sort of get rid of all the nodes and all the lines and stuff to really see what the shape's looking like. If you don't like something, like I'm not really liking it right here, I'll select it again. I'll press N to bring up the node tool. And I'll come over here and I'll start adjusting. I think I need to adjust this handle, maybe down. All right. Press S for the selection tool. Deselect. All right, it's not perfect. I think we need to bring that node down. So select it again. Press N. And press S. There we go. You want to make sure that line goes sort of in right there. Okay. Select your apple half. Now you're going to press Control D, which is duplicate. 
Now we've duplicated it. You probably don't see any changes because it's going to make the duplicate copy right on top. See, if I move it off, it's sitting there. I'll go ahead and do Control Z to bring it back. And while that piece selected, I'll look up here to flip the selected object. So I'll flip it. While holding the Control key, I'll start dragging it over. And you want to make sure that they're right on top like that. Now, we can press Control A to select both halves, go up to Path, and go to Union. Now we have our apple. The next thing we're going to want to do is get a circle, draw a circle tool out, um, draw a circleish shape out, put it sort of right over the apple right there. Hold the shift key, select the apple, go to paths, and go to division. Now what that did was it made this circle turn into a little movable piece. Notice it's got a bunch of nodes and they're all adjustable. We'll go ahead and sort of adjust that down to make it look a little bit more like a bite. Now this is just sort of eyeballing it. Go ahead and select this. We're going to give it a sort of an apple flesh color. We can come right down here to the yellows. You want to start with sort of a yellow or brownish yellow. Select that. You can bring up your fill, color and fill by Shift Control L. I'm sorry, Shift Control F, or by double clicking on the fill right here. Now, with this brought up, we can start adjusting that, and I will make it a little bit lighter. That's a good fleshy tone right there. Now we're going to go to the gradient tool. You can press G for that. Let's make sure we have create a linear gradient selected. I'm going to click right around here. Left click hold and drag it down to right about there. Now on this first node it was the original color that we had been using. The second node is actually opaque. If you notice right here the opacity comes up as zero. So we can just click over here. Left click hold and drag it up to a hundred. Now with this second or bottom node selected, we're going to come into this area and start dragging it down and make it a little bit darker. That's going to give it just a little bit more interest. Next we're going to select the main apple. We'll come back to our gradient tool by pressing G. Now we're going to create a radial gradient. So go ahead and select that. Come to right around this area of the apple you're going to left click hold and start dragging it out. Now we want to drag it out a little bit bigger than the shape of the apple. With one of these two outer nodes selected, we're going to make sure that also we've brought it all the way up, 100% opacity. Then we'll adjust and start darkening it. Now you can darken as much as you want to based on your taste. Right there ought to be good. We're going to select the ellipse tool again, come above the apple right about here and draw sort of an ovalish shape, about that big. We'll go ahead and make that black. Press G, bring up the gradient tool again. We'll make sure that the ellipse is selected. We'll start in the center this time and we're going to pull it out like this. I'll press 3 so you can sort of see the shape that we're making. You want the center to be really dark and you want the nodes to come out. And fill the whole shape in almost. So we'll go ahead and press 5. Press 4. Alright, so that looks pretty good. We left the outer edge of this circle with a zero opacity. And we're going to drag it right over the top here. press G. And for the last piece we're going to go ahead and make the stem. Select the rectangle tool and come right above this area here. 
and draw out a, roughly the size of a stem that you would like. It's a little bit too big, so we'll adjust that. Put it here. We'll color it a darker green. We'll go to Path, Object to Path, or Shift Control C. Then we'll select the Node tool by clicking on this, or we will press N. All you have to do now is sort of grab one of the four nodes, drag it out in a shape, the bottom being sort of closer together, the top being a little bit further. Now we'll press the G. We will make sure that it's set to a linear gradient. Come across and drag it out. Once again, let's make sure this opacity is all the way. And we'll darken the right node. A little bit too dark. Let's control Z that. All right. We're going to go ahead and press 4 and then press 5. And there you have it. That is how you create an apple. It can be duplicated with any fruit. And this is just a simple project to get you a better understanding or working with like the gradient tool. Thanks for watching.